Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mai and this week's video is my very first apartment renovation for the channel. We are here in the fashion district renovating Penny Pizzazz's apartment and I didn't actually decorate it or design it at all like around her. I mostly just chose this apartment because I liked the size of it and I liked the shape and thought, you know, I don't think I've ever actually built in here so I might as well try it. And um, I am very glad to be back in building. I actually haven't mentioned this in any of my previous videos, but I have been traveling for the past few weeks and the last three videos that I've posted were all pre-recorded. So this is actually my very first build of 2024 and uh, I'm just really excited about that. I'm looking forward to really dedicating my time to this channel this year and um, I'm very grateful for um, all of the growth that I've seen already in the past few weeks and I'm really looking forward to seeing where this year takes us. So um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really, really grateful for you all. And anyways, back to the build um, or into the build we go. Uh, I decided to build an apartment because I wanted to try out the new feature where you can move the windows around. Um, but funnily enough, I actually haven't changed the windows around at all. I really liked that it like fit in with the rest of the building and I didn't really want to mess with that. So I ended up just leaving them all where they were and just kind of worked with the natural shape and um, energy that each area brings. So um, as you can see, I created a hallway through the entrance um, and then kind of a separate little wing for the bedroom and then at the end you will see this kind of living room, kitchen, um, I guess not really dining because all you have is the bar stools but um, yeah I guess it's just like a kitchen and living area. And something that I really wanted to implement in the build um, was the mix between the modern and the traditional. Um, the fashion district is quite modern, um, it, like, it's a very modern neighborhood, and the exterior of this building is also very modern, as you can probably tell from the big glass windows. Um, but then you also have like the hallway of the building is very, I don't know, it's very like run down, a little bit older, it's like got carpet and wallpaper, and so, I don't know, that also made me feel like maybe the apartments are a little bit older, but then I don't know, the exterior got renovated, but they didn't have the money left to do the interior. I don't really know, but I really did want to mix those two elements together. Um, I didn't want it to be like way too matchy. So um, yeah, as you can see, it's very, very mismatched. Um, and here I am slowly incorporating a lot of plants. Um, I end up like, I was going to call this like a plant lover's apartment because it has a lot of them, um, but I, I ended up just calling it green chic because I don't know, it sounded nicer in my head and was maybe a little bit more inclusive. Um, but anyways, yeah, so as I was saying, the modern, the traditional, we have here like this couch, which to me says a little bit more modern. The kitchen, of course, it has all of like the home chef hustle kit items. Um, so it is obviously very, very modern, but then you have like, I don't know, the bar stools are maybe a little bit older. You have that coffee table from the Sims 4 for Rent, which is maybe a little bit more traditional. And I think also like the table that I put the TV on is very traditional. Um, and also the wallpaper, I don't know, you can probably see the mix. I really, also those spandrels, the columns, um, I just ended up looking so nice and the styles all blended nicely really well. and. I mean, you guys know how hard it is to find swatches that match in The Sims, but I'm so glad that I was able to find so many greens that worked so nicely together. And um, here I am actually trying to furnish the hallway, but I just didn't really have a vision for it. So I gave up and moved on to the bedroom. And for this one, it's a little bit more art deco, I guess. I say that mostly just because of the bed. The bed is from the high school years expansion pack. And then I used the nightstands from the Modern Lux kit and I used the matching dresser as well and I was gonna put it like at the foot of the bed because I was gonna make that little nook into a desk nook but then I figured you know what I can fit it there um, I used a smaller desk from the paranormal stuff pack and um, I don't know I think it it, it fit nicely 
and I did play test the entire apartment so if there's anything that kind of looks awkwardly placed don't worry it is all functional um, and I really like this mirror that I added over here above the dresser kind of like asymmetrically I think it looks really really cool and um, I put a full-length one over here next to the entryway as well or along with my very favorite item that's not that doesn't make sense my favorite yeah, my favorite item of the game, which is that coat hanger. Um, even though it only has like three swatches, I feel like I use it in every single build and we need either more swatches of it or like a modern version of it so that I feel a little bit less guilty using it all the time. Um, but yeah, I really also adore that pink carpet that I put in the hallway. It just like adds a little bit of warmth and um, also the tiling that I put in the entryway. It really helps separate it from like the rest of the build and um, yeah, it's also just a really nice style. Um, but we are here also just finishing up at the bathroom. Um, none of the hardware in here matches. It's like, it's so hard to make a bathroom in The Sims with hardware that matches unless you're just going with like black or silver, I guess. I don't know. All of the golds are just slightly different. Like it's just, it's the smallest, smallest difference, but it always annoys me. Um, and it's fine when you're playing, it's just when you're building that it just throws you off, or at least it throws me off. Um, but yeah, the bathroom came together pretty quick. Um, I really, really love that wallpaper from the Home Chef Hustle and how somehow, even though it's like two very different patterns, it works really nice with this tile from the Sims 4 for Rent. Finally though, we are at the screenshots, um, starting off with a little shot of the hallway and the entryway. Um, I think it just feels really inviting and warm and uh, here you can see a little bit of the laundry and those spandrels that for some reason have just always clipped into the ceiling. It's been a problem since the game came out and um, I don't really know if it's ever going to be fixed. So. We will see, time will tell. Um, but here we can see the kitchen. I just added like some clutter to make it a little bit more realistic and feel just a little bit more lived in and not so like showroomy. Um, but yeah, here I love how you can see the way that everything flows into each other. That's why I didn't add doors. Um, I just liked that. And under the that table there, I added just like boxes and like that vinyl crate. Um, so that you can imagine that like that's where that's where you keep the records for the record player um and i also added a lot of plants you probably saw in a few screenshots ago and you'll see it again here um i mean i went with the green theme and the plants really add to that and i think it just adds a lot of life to the build um and here we are in the bedroom where i've also added a lot of clutter um a couple of plants because there's not too much light but i mean there is that gorgeous view of the city this room just feels so warm and nice and i love all of the colors that i've included in here um and this little corner for for like working it just is a really nice one which does bring us to the last few screenshots i'm really happy with how this build turned out and uh, i'm looking forward to making so many more builds for you guys this year bye buds and thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos comment and share with your friends talk to you soon bye